Um, yeah, I want to talk about. I want to talk about Spider's Web. So I can't remember who it was, but one of you paid me money to watch Spider's Web. Spider's Web is a documentary. Um, it's about an hour and twenty minutes. Um, and uh, you asked me to review it, so here's my review of Spider's Web. It's terrible. It's a good example of the biased history that you guys were talking about earlier. Spider's Web has this thesis. The thesis is, it's, it's been watched massively. Millions of people have watched this. Oh, oh, Troy, thank you. Wow. Troy is in the house. All right. Under lockdown in Australia, I take it. In, uh, there's a good, uh, there's a good, uh, 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 <laughs> there's a good picture of Australia. It shows the whole island, and uh, it's called, it, you know, I think the heading is something like a prison nation, and uh, you know, a nation of prisoners. And you think about it, yeah, it was founded by prisoners, and now everybody's under house arrest. Um, so. Spider's Web. So Spider's Web, this is the thesis that um, England used to have an empire. And that empire, to a large extent, was managed from the city of London, from the financiers at London. It's a hugely uh, anti-finance, anti-financier documentary. And the idea is that when the empire collapsed, the city of London wanted to maintain its power and wanted to maintain its control. And to maintain its power and control, it you know to maintain its control um, it basically uh, established in the post empire uh, era a system of uh, call it uh, what do they call it in the documentary they call it um, you know basically offshore banking secret banking, banks that allow you, don't ask questions, where you open accounts, where, um, you know, shadow banking, it's where people can use it in order to hide ill-gotten money, uh, avoid taxation. And they created a network of these uh, places, uh, Cayman Islands uh, and a number of different former British colonies, all established these financial entities to help the rich avoid taxes and to funnel money into the city of London, which makes money off of London, money. And it's all, the whole documentary is all phrased as if it's one big conspiracy theory. These people are running the world. And, you know, there's a whole section of how uh, this is screwing Africa. How is it screwing Africa? Think about it this way. Um, Africa has, let's, I'm just going to make up some numbers. Africa has debt of, of $100 billion, let's say. And, uh, but it turns out that the various dictators, authoritarians uh, of Africa, they're never called dictators or authoritarians in the documentary. The leaders of African countries have funneled about $900 billion into some of these bank accounts all over the world. They've stolen their own people's money and put them in the bank accounts. Now, God forbid, God forbid, here's my Catholic coming out of me, that you actually blame the dictators for stealing the money. You blame the populace for tolerating the dictators for stealing the money. You blame the elites in African countries for allowing the dictators to steal the money. No, 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 no. You can't blame those people. Because after all, they're weak. You know, they've got dark skin and, and, and uh, you know, we don't blame them for anything. They're all victims. I mean, it's so racist not to blame them. It's so racist to treat them differently. Mike, thank you. So we don't blame uh, the Africans. Who do we blame? We blame 
the bankers who make it possible. We blame the city of London that has created this network of banks that allow people to hide their money. Now, this is just nuts. Of course, it assumes that the only purpose of money, the only purpose of creating money is to pay taxes. In a, in a free world, in a capitalist world, there'd be 100% privacy in banks. To get any information about anybody from a bank, you'd need a subpoena. Why would, why is it anybody's business what I have in my bank account? Why is it anybody's business how much money I made last year? It's only the statists, the authoritarians, the collectivists who think that they, my money is theirs. Now, the example in Africa is stealing. But one has to condemn the theft. One has to condemn the people who commit the theft. It's none of the banker's business where the money came from. It's government's responsibility to police, not bankers. Bankers are not policemen. It's not the banker's job. It's absurd. I mean, the documentary is filled with falsehoods. It talks about the euro dollar. It talks about the creation of this whole banking system and the euro dollar market. But these banking systems and the euro dollars were built primarily to get around regulation. But I'm for getting around regulation. I think it's great to get around regulation. I think it's wonderful to get around regulation. Regulation is government intervention. It's immoral. It's use of force against the productive. Now, I believe in catching fraudsters, putting them in jail. But one of the reasons you had a euro dollar market was because in the United States, until the 1980s, banks couldn't pay interest on checking accounts. To the, uh, until recently, banks couldn't pay interest on corporate checking accounts. So what happened was corporations were pissed off. I mean, what are they going to do with the money? It's one of the reasons we have money market accounts. It's so the corporations can shift their money in overnight and get some interest on it because they're billions and billions and billions, if not trillions of dollars. The euro market, euro dollar market was created to allow American banks to deposit corporate checking accounts into European accounts overnight, get interest, so they could pay their corporate clients interest without breaking American law. Yeah, it's called, it's called regulatory arbitrage, and it's a wonderful thing. Yes, these banks, offshore banks, are used to avoid paying taxes. Yes, corporations use every trick in the book, legal, to try to not pay taxes. Good for them. There's no duty to pay your taxes. There's a duty to follow the law, maybe, right? Up to a point. But your duty is to shareholders, and part of that duty is to minimize the taxes that you pay. So I commend all these specialists who help people to evade taxes. You know, if they're doing it legally. And if you want to stop it, you know, close the loopholes, but even better, get rid of taxes. The simpler the taxes are, the lower the taxes are, the less evasion there is. Bankers are not conspirators, they're the victims of regulations and controls. And yes, they fight back. And they are massive innovators. They're amazing innovators in finding ways around the regulation. So uh, the documentary is, I mean, a bunch of what they say is true. But my evaluation of what happens there, my evaluation of what they did, is very, very different than, um, than their evaluation. So Spider's Web, 
remember spider's web that you you put out a web to what to eat your prey to catch your prey and kill it but the spider's web in the documentary was to provide people with services legitimate services of getting around irrational government regulations and irrational government controls all right what we need today what i call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason by the intellect not by feelings wishes whims or mystic revelations any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair cynicism and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to hundred. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this, uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.